Hi everyone. Companies are considered non-natural legal entities by the laws of most countries and the directors act as the brains of such legal entities. In most countries, companies are legally required to appoint directors to manage and oversee their operations. Directors are responsible for making decisions that affect the company's day-to-day -day operations, finances and overall strategy. Being a director of a company carries with it a lot of responsibility and breaching these duties could result in severe punishments extending to imprisonment as well. So in this episode, I want to discuss the legal duties imposed on a director of a company. Let's get started. The legal duties of a director can vary depending on the country and the jurisdiction but there are some common responsibilities that all directors must be aware of. Today I want to talk about these directors duties generally. The individual laws of most countries will follow the same blueprint but the exact wording may change depending on the legislation of each country. One of the most fundamental duties imposed on a director is to act within his powers. That means they must act within the laws of the country and within the powers given to them by the articles of association of the company. Directors must ensure that the company complies with all applicable laws and regulations. This means that the directors must be aware of the legal requirements that apply to the company's operations and take steps to ensure compliance. This duty usually extends to not acting beyond the powers given to them. That is, there will be things that the directors are authorized to do and things that the directors are not authorized to do. It is the duty of a director not to go beyond these powers. Although this is one of the most obvious duties of a director, it is usually the one which is breached often because sometimes the directors, in an attempt to act in the best interest of the company, may go beyond their powers. Another duty imposed on directors is a duty to act in good faith and to act in the best interest of the company. This duty usually overlaps with another duty, which is a duty to avoid conflicts of interest. This means that directors cannot use their position to gain personal benefits or advantage at the expense of the company. Connected to this duty to act in the best interest of the company and to avoid conflicts of interest is a duty to disclose any interest either direct or indirect in any other person or business which the company might engage with to the rest of the board and to step away from the decision making process in relation to that transaction. The director must also exercise due care, skill and diligence. That means he must act in a way that a reasonable person having the powers of a director would have acted. This means that directors must take the time to understand the information available to them and make informed decisions based on that information. This will be judged on an objective scale as opposed to a subjective scale. So whether you have exercised due care and skill will depend on whether other people in a similar situation would have acted the same way or not. Another very important duty placed on the directors is to prevent insolvent trading. This means if the directors have reason to believe that the company cannot settle its debts, the directors must consider whether to file bankruptcy or not. Instead of doing this, if the directors continue to trade and the company continues to suffer for the loss, the director can be sued for breaching his duty towards the company. In summary, some of the most important legal duties of a director in a company are to act within their powers, to act in the best interest of the company, to avoid conflicts of interest, to disclose any outside interests, to exercise reasonable care and diligence, and to prevent insolvent trading. Now, if the directors breach these duties, they can be held responsible for the loss suffered to the company and its shareholders. Anyway, that's been it for this episode. Thank you for watching and hopefully you found this helpful and informative. If you did, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. I'll see you in another episode. Take care. Bye.